Congratulations on the show, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I spoke to uh, Alistair last night, Mr. Groff, mm. and I've said this to all the guys that I spoke to today about how he had an encounter with an eight-year-old man, and the eight-year-old man told him how much he loved the show, yeah. and it kind of put into perspective for him how big the reach was of the of the show and how it's touched young people, but also old people. And I just wondered what you guys kind of thought of that and, and how excited you are that so many people are kind of loving yeah. the show so far. Oh, it's yeah. So oh, it's great. And yeah. it, yeah, it's, because um, even when people like say to you, like uh, someone said to me recently, like, oh, my caught my nine-year-old son watching this. <laughs> and I was a little bit like. <laughs> as if they were telling you off as well. Yeah, I know, right? But I kind of think that's, I mean, maybe nine's a bit young, but like, I feel like it's okay because I feel like the show is dealing with these issues really responsibly. Yeah. So like, actually it's probably quite educational. He's probably learning Loads. a lot. Actually nine is well young, isn't it's it? So I don't young, actually know how young but, that is. But yeah, I don't a know. Tad, but it's a tad. I was just, just thinking about the, the first colors. scene of uh, the first season <laughs> for a nine year old. Yes, It'd that's quite like, much, isn't it? Or well, the first scene of the second season. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm not advocating nine-year-olds to watch this oh, yeah. show, by the way. But it was just, I mean, let's forget the fact that he was nine. But like, a, a, you know, a, per, a young person. Nineteen-year-old. Who maybe, <laughs> nineteen-year-old, who maybe shouldn't be watching it. But like, it's good, like it is, I don't know, it's a helpful show. It's not just brilliantly funny and moving and interesting and all the all the wonderful things. It is also just genuinely educational. Yeah. Yeah, Gillian said that last night that people in other countries that are consuming the show wherever they may be, that yeah. this is kind of their education in, in some ways. Yeah, and that's yeah. she said how great that is that, you know, yeah. there and also, you know, in back in the sixties or fifties that they didn't really have the same sure. kind of education. But it, it yeah. must be it's good for young people particularly that there's so many things that are taboo these days and things that people don't talk about that this show kind of shows all that in such a light-hearted way but also in a very touching way as well. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It really brings it all together. And actually, the, it's interesting what you said, the comments of people that have been coming up to us have been like, this is so necessary or like, I wish I had this. You know, a lot, there's a lot of urgency, I guess, and the, that's the response is quite, uh, the feeling that we're getting from the audience members is like, oh, you know, like we're thirsty and we're just giving them a cup of, drink of water or something that's what it feels like for us as well thirsty for sex advice <laughs> thirsty for it and also I remember I can't remember who said it but someone said about the American Pie films about how the kind of unique characters quote unquote are usually the ones that are made fun of or kind of in the background but your characters are so much part of the at the front you know and all these characters are given such great depth and yeah. such interesting storylines it must be great that they're fully fleshed out and that they get their time to shine as well as you yeah. know, Razor and all those guys as well. That must yeah. be such a great feeling as actors to have something that you're seeing through now in season two evolve beyond what you probably imagined that they would. Yeah, totally. Yeah, because that's the thing. None of the characters are um, two dimensional. Like they mm -hmm. are, they're not, you know, cartoons. No. Even someone like Lily, you could really expect to be a bit of a, she could be like, cartoony but she's so well written and there's so many layers to her mm. um that yeah totally so all well of the characters are just, all of them yeah. and, and i feel like even the way that we left it in season one is that we've obviously met the characters now right and we understand like i don't want to say stock stereotypes but in a way we cover like quite a we cover these characters these different peoples and walks of life and in the second season we get to see them like in, in in like completely different situations that we've never seen them in before after establishing the characters which i think is also really satisfying for viewers um it was really satisfying for me to to kind of play that and play alongside these guys with that um yeah with these scenes in the second season yeah it's such a great family dynamic to the to the show um but i wanted to touch on uh, Gillian anderson because i can imagine for young actors such as yourself, even working with her for an hour or for a couple of hours, uh, you know, in, in the small time that you might get with her, she could probably give you so much as an actress, but also as a person. I was just wondering what it was like to, to work with her, because like, she's been, she's had such an amazing career. She's such a thoughtful, giving person in, in, in real life as well. Yeah, I, I would like to say that she's a real actor's actor, um, in that she will always give you time and I'll always take her time. And that's something I've learned so much. Like, yeah, you're right, we learn. Well, I, I yeah. do anyway. Every time I'm on set with her, I learn so much. But most importantly, I've, you know, you just learn how to take your time and like to really understand what's, what you need in that moment to be the best thing that you can get. Um, and that's something that she just does flawlessly in every second of her life. You know, so I, I, I love to spend time with her. You feel like you're taking in her energy, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. She's, she's certainly a fun person. Yeah. My time is up. I wish I could talk to you more. Pleasure to talk to you, though. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time. So nice Thanks. To see you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.